Hey guys, um, so this is what I'm doing today. I've just been waiting for parts, and here are all the parts. Um, my cookies on jack stands. They've been on jack stands for a couple couple days. So I got PBM coils. I got them used for 600 bucks. I was really stoked off of that. The spring rates in the front are 10. The rear is 8. The reason why my car has been on jack stands this whole time is uh, I got my uh, LCAs and knuckles modded. This is what they look like. They're boxed. Beautiful. I need to replace the ball joints, which I have right here. I want the AutoZone, so I got them on AutoZone. Also have the PBM extended tie rods, and I have the bump steer corrector um, tie rod ends. Um, got the uh, tool to rent from AutoZone as well, and I'm going to start working on this today. It feels like uh, Christmas in November right now. My birthday just passed, that's how I was able to afford all this shit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked. I also bought a Nismo thermostat. It opens at 62 Celsius. And I bought a brand new water pump for the Kuki. It overheats a little bit. Kind of scared me, so I'm just going to change it out. Um, other than that, that's what I'm going to okay, do. I got it one side. Um, the knuckle, the new ball joint and everything is on there. I just need to bolt it up. I need to put the new coils overs on. Um, so this is, this is how you do it. The ball joints are actually really not that hard if you have an impact. Um, I like doing this off the car because it's easier. But all you do is make sure to cut off the old, you know, ball joint. And then you get a ball joint extractor tool right here. And use these guys. You know, you go on top like this. And then you push it out. You know, they give you little things so it can slide through. It's very self-explanatory, that's why I didn't show you guys. There's a couple of videos on YouTube that I used that they actually worked great. Okay, now getting it back on. It's actually not that bad. I'm just going to clean that up. Press it back in. You know, press them in. Put the new old ball joint on. The C-clamp is honestly, to me, the hardest part of this. And sorry for pointing towards my finger. Oh, I got a piece of metal on my finger. Um, but... Yeah, the, the C-clamp is the hardest part, I think. Other than that, you know, it's good. And, uh, yeah. So, there's your update. After I get all the ball joints and everything on, I'm going to put on my um, extended tie rod ends from PBM. And then I'll have an angle kit. Um, after I put the extended tie rods on, I'm going to put the coils on. And then I should be done for the day. Because I'm not going to do the water pump yet. I'm getting a new fan shroud that I'm going to put on my Koyo, new Koyo radiator. Also going to get um, new... Probably going to get new... Um, what is it called? Oh, probably going to get new hoses because they're blue. I want black ones. And then... Um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much about it. I got the knuckles done. I got the ball joints done. Brand new ball joints on there. It worked. Now I'm going to install the PBM um, extended tie rod ends or tie rods, and then put my bump steer correctors on, and then attach that. Then swap the coils, um, and then I might mount my brand new bumper that I have laying in the garage. But uh, yeah, there's your update. Oh yeah, one thing I'm going to do. And what a lot of drifters I know do is they remove the front sway bar so you get more grip. Um, I'm going to try doing that and see if I like it or not. Um, on my S13 I have the sway bar but it's on full loose. And I, I feel like I get decent grip but I'm going to try running no sway bar on this car. And then one thing I still need to buy is the new traction rods. Because these are, fuck, look at the ball joint, it's just gone. It's so bad on both sides. I'm going to buy the ISR ones that go in. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, 
that's what I really need to do. The suspension on this car is fully done. Almost. Getting there. I just need to do the traction rods. And I ordered a new rear sway bar. Actually, a sway bar period because I don't this have This is the PBM extended tie rod. And that is the bump steer corrector. Here is the OEM tie rod and OEM tie rod end. This is about like an inch or two longer than the stock. And then this I do because it's a little beefier and they're actually kind of cheap on eBay. I actually did get this on eBay, guys. It's an eBay part. But it's actually, look how, st it's, it's super, it's pretty stiff. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped off of this. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the part right there. And I need to put it on. How to take off the boot and everything. But, um, yeah. Other than that, it's good. Wrapping it up right now. It's getting dark. Um, tie rods are on with the extensions. And the coilovers are on. And, yeah, everything's on. It looks beautiful. PBM coils with my extended LCAs and modded knuckles with bump steer crackers on them and PBM extended tie rods um, yeah they're on I got my camber set to zero and it should be like negative five roughly when you put it on that's what I have on the other car it's negative five with just the extended LCAs no camber adjustment um, but yeah other than that you know, there you go um, hope you guys like the video. Um, remove the rear sway bar, or the front sway bar. And this side is completely on. I need to wrap it up and put this on. And hopefully I can have enough time before the sun goes down to put on the rears really quick. And then I should be good. I'm also going to post these <coughs> Apexi coils up. They're, uh, they're pretty old. They're Apexi... Pexi WS damper. <laughs> okay. But uh yeah, I'm gonna sell these. Post them up. These are super hella old ass coils. Like these are like hella OG, like back in the nineties shit going on over here. Um but yeah. Hopefully I'll